Products Tech Presentation. Together with Pato and Deli, we will learn when to use in-house cloud versus third-party cloud. Cloud has become essential for many businesses. The question is, should we really build our own private cloud or use third-party cloud services? Meet Pato, who loves in-house cloud. Whereas Zelly is a die-hard fan of Amazon AWS. Let's see what they do while they start a business needing a cloud-based server. For the given situation, what Pato did. He chose a data center situated at a naturally stable geographic location with all the facilities. Then he buys server equipment, software and travel to the data center for the setup. He sets up all hardware, software, and networking stuff from scratch. At last he has a ninja fast app server running sufficient for 1 million customers. While Ellie simply sign up an account with Amazon AWS while sitting at her office and within few clicks, and bam. She is running an app server within a very short span of time. While here server is optimized and can cater up to 200 customers, it is more than what she needs. Now if we compare these two cloud server, it looks like Pato's high-end server built for 1 million users is catering just 100 customers as of now? Okay. Is it not too big for the current load and hence inefficient? All the things were going well and then one night, both the data center experience an outage at 1 a.m. morning. Pato packs his bag and fly down to his data center, make sure that everything is working and he is back to business. While Ellie simply checks with Amazon customer care and gets a confirmation that the AWS engineers has taken care of her needs. Learning from this outage, both Pato and Ellie decide to set up a backup server, which must be situated in different geographic region. While Pato repeats the whole process of buying new hardware, choosing new data center and set it up as a backup, Ellie simply spend a day in doing all the setup online just in few clicks. Now let's see what is the initial cost of setup. Whoa! It's huge $85,000 for Pato and just $5,000 for Ellie. Is Pato making a mistake by creating an in-house cloud service? As user base for Pato and Ellie grows over the year, Pato is relaxed because he already has a server which can handle up to 1 million customers. But it was not too difficult for Ellie to provision new servers and scale up as the user base increases. It's more than 10 years now for Pato and Ellie running their business successfully. Let's check the long run yearly cost of cloud for them. Oops. It's swapping $40,000 each year for Ellie, while it's just $6,000 a year for Pato. Conclusion it seems that the third party cloud service provides a quick start for new business with lowest initial cost. The long run cost of running the business is lower in having in house cloud system. Thanks from all the members of Newton House for watching this video.